For the past two million years, humans have been living and evolving as hunter-gatherers. It's only been in the last 10,000 years or so that we've settled down as we invented farming. And it's only been for the last several generations that we've been an industrialized society. Our biology suggests that we are still hunter-gatherers. And in fact, hunter-gatherers eat as much as their body needs every single day. Yet we continue to consume more food than our body needs. This has led to an obesity epidemic that is ravaging the Western world. 60% of adults and 30% of children are overweight or obese. What I'd like to explain to you today are some surprising facts so you can digest these facts and these some very incisive dis the research that has shown that the relationship between food, exercise, and weight is different than what you thought, how this was discovered, and the value to your body. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and honored guests, from, an, from a research article in the two February 2017 article in Scientific American, Herman Ponser of Hunter College describes how he investigated and determined the caloric value of the food that's eaten and burned during the day of participants in his study. Participants drink small, very expensive bottles of water that are laced with radioisotopes, deuterium and oxygen-18. Analyzing the concentration of these isotopes in their urine helps calculate the amount of carbon dioxide that's burned and therefore the caloric <coughs> burn rate they go through during a day. His surprising conclusion, which is contrary to received wisdom, is that regardless of the amount of exercise, the amount of activity that's done, humans burn about the same amount of calories on a regular basis every day. This particular study was in, the, in Africa. He found one of the few remaining hunter-gatherer tribes, the African Hadza group. And he went through and explained, and they did a whole study using this doubly labeled water method to determine what their caloric burn rate was. Surprisingly, the average Hadza man, male, burned about 2,600 calories a day, and the average Hadza woman burned about 1,900 calories a day, which is about the average for most Americans and Europeans, even though they're very active, and it doesn't, and it, irregardless of the activity level of the individual. Several researchers at Loyola University in Chicago gathered the results of 98 studies that were done around the globe on this very subject and found that found the exact same result. No matter the population, no matter the activity level, humans burn about the same amount of calories every day. So it wasn't the calories that they were burning, it was the amount of calories that you're consuming that makes a difference in your weight. In fact, some of the studies even looked at animals, beyond human animals, behind humans or we're animals, but looked at animals. They determined that the energy that, cal that animals were burning, whether they were in the wild or captive in a zoo and idle, not active like the wild animals, was about the same. So activity levels, they determined and finally decided, was not the reason. Your car burns gasoline to produce power to energize the engine. Humans burn calories to power the mitochondrial engines in your cells. If you give your car too many, too much gasoline, it'll just 
spill out. But if you give your body too many calories, it'll be stored. In conclusion, obesity is not a result of, I'm sorry, obesity is a result of gluttony, not sloth. You can't outrun a, outrun a bad diet. Exercise is a poor tool for weight management. However, exercise is very important because with exercise, there are tremendous benefits to the body, for the brain, for the immune function. So whether you exercise for, if you exercise at all, you should be exercising for your fitness, not for your weight management. Because it's been proven that it doesn't make a difference. My wife follows Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers is on task. She keeps track of the calories that she, essentially the calories that she consumes. They use, they call it points, and it's determined in a certain way. But she has a daily budget that she watches. And by, and when she stays on task and eats the correct amount of calories every day, points, then she stays fit. My wife is slender because she's disciplined. She's also fit because she exercises, and they're, they're different. The takeaway, eat what your body needs. Mr. Toastmaster.